Scheduling. The working hours and public holidays in the project always refer to a calendar. You can customize calendars in the resource pool. You can create as many calendars as you want. The calendar can be initialized with public holidays per state. In the Project Properties window, we can define master data such as name, start and finish dates of the project, and calendar. We can create individual activities directly in the Gantt chart by clicking on the characters with the left mouse button. In the Activity Properties window, we enter a name, for example, Construction Mechanics, and confirm with OK. The activity time can be changed by drag and drop. We can also confirm changes in activity properties by clicking Enter. Alternatively, we can create an activity by entering the activity names in the table. To create a link between activities, we have to drag the cursor in chain form from one activity to another. In this way, we create relations between activities, construction mechanics, engineering electrical, and engineering software. In our project, we create three other activities, namely manufacture mechanics, manufacture electrics, and manufacturing software. We can select the required activities and click on the menu command link and in this way link several activities at once. At the end of the project, we double click a milestone, for example, project end, and link it to other activities. We create sub-projects, engineering and manufacture, by selecting three engineering activities and grouping them into a sub-project, engineering, and three manufacturing activities to a sub-project, manufacture. We can create a new activity at any area in the Gantt chart by dragging a bar there. Link to other activities and drag to a new position relative to the time scale. By clicking on a link, we can change its properties in the Link Properties window making a start-start relation from a finish start. Or set a delay for this link. We can also drag an activity up or down in the Gantt chart. If required, we can drag an activity into subproject frames. When deleting activities or relations, we can cross out an activity while holding down the right mouse button. At the end of the plan processing, we renumber the project plan by clicking on the Renumber menu command on the Format tab. When time scheduling, we can calculate and display a critical path. In order that the reserve time for activities may be easier to see, we mark the reserve time appropriately and take the labels, like names, out of the Gantt chart. If we delete the fixation of the milestone, 
we can calculate and display the latest possible start date or the earliest possible start date of the project within the given period with the start and finish dates. We delete the markers for reserve time and critical path. You can easily change the time scale either by clicking on the time scale with the left mouse button in the lower right corner and selecting the required view, or by using the zoom slider to increase or decrease the time scale. If you want to make your own image about RealSoft Project, 30 Days Trial Version is available for you to download. Try out the efficiency and usability of RealSoft Project.